I've got a problem. I've got to turn these green beads into these. And we're going to fix that today. So these Descan beads I use to dry out my filament for my 3D printer. This is a very good brand. It's highly recommended. And the benefit of this is that it's reusable. So it comes in an orange color. That means it hasn't been used. And when it's dried up all of the moisture it can out of the air, it turns a green color. So now what we have to do is it's heat activated. And once we heat it, it will draw the moisture out and turn it back to the orange color to be reused again. So this is a lot better system than what the packets that you get in electronics that are a one-time use. You, it, once it sucks up the moisture, you just basically throw it away. So to dry out the desiccant beads, I got a toaster oven from my local Goodwill. It was only $20, and the reason I got this specific one is because it has a bigger working area on the inside compared to some of the smaller units. But there was one problem. This unit didn't come with any racks. So today we've got to fix that problem by making at least one rack, if not two, before we can actually dry out the desk and beads. So I happened to go back to Goodwill the week, a week later after purchasing the toaster oven, and I happened to find these two racks that I thought would fit perfect uh, for the toaster oven. Now, uh, it is doesn't go with this one, and it is a little bit bigger, but I figured we can modify it to fit. So let's take this over to the bandsaw and cut it to size. Now we've got two racks cut, let's give it a test fit. Perfect. All right, let's get to drying. All right, let's see, let's get it on conventional bake. Uh, I'm going to turn it to stay on. And where's our temperature? Oh, there's our temperature here. 250 all right we'll let that warm up a little bit we'll get our used desiccant beads out let's see what it looks like i've got two trays i don't want to get it too overloaded let's see let's get the second tray out mesh that should do it. That's just about right. Let's see if we get a temperature here. 250. I got 246. That's the back of the metal. So that's pretty close. All right, we'll leave that for about 30 minutes and we'll come and check on it and see what they look like. All right, it's about 15 minutes since we've started. Let's just take a quick peek, see what it looks like about halfway through. Oh, well, that's looking really good. Most of them's orange. There's still a little bit of green up there, so we gotta let that cook for a little bit longer. How about this bottom one? Now the bottom one, it looks like it's getting more heat up here than down at the bottom. So we'll shake that up and we'll let it sit for another 10, 15 more minutes. Probably just the heat distribution and the top tray covering it. That probably doesn't help with the circulation. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. Let's give it to Gander here. And look at that. Nice and orange. Brand new. I do see that there's... The bottom ones are a little bit green. I just need a few more minutes. Uh, I don't think it was getting circulating the heat enough down at the bottom. So we're going to let that sit. And while we got the other ones out, we'll let, that, we'll let this go for a little bit longer too. Alright, so it's been 40 minutes total. Let's give it a look. That of course looked good. That looked good before.
And these look great now too, so I consider consider that a success and we're done. So we'll let these cool down and we'll stick them back into the original container for the next time it needs to be used. So this is one of the places I use the desiccant beads. This is a drying chamber uh, made out of just a Tupperware container to hold my filament that I'm not using currently. And this is the chamber that holds the beads. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right, so we'll take our desiccant chamber. We just unscrew the top here. And you can see they're all green, so they're all used up. So let's change that out. We'll save that for another time. And we'll put some new one in there. I'll probably just use it out of this container because it's easier to pour. But basically we could use either one. All right, when you get enough in there, just get the lid back on, twist it on, and there you go. So we'll just put this back into our drying chamber here. And also I have, let me show you. I also keep a hydrometer and temperature gauge in here. I just put this back in there. That's why it says 41. Uh, it's been sitting out for a couple days. But we're going to put that in there. Put our dry desiccant chamber in there and we'll close it up and if you'd like to see more videos like the one that you just saw you can check here and here and remember the ABC's of making always be creating till next time